What up, people? From the Legendary, welcome back to 80s Many Heroes Never Returns. Let's get it, Bob, and we're here in September 1988. So, as things stand, Jet Set Strutter is on a bit of a run with that world title. Let's have a quick look at the title history, see how people are getting on. Jet Set, three successful defences. Best uh, title reign, you would say, since Bravo back in uh, April last year. Tag team titles, uh, we've had the newly crowned tag team champions, Pierre and Valedictorian. Whether we give Chance and Zen a rematch, I don't know. I mean, after 11 title defenses, you would probably say they deserve one. But we'll see on that score. I, I guess we kind of have to, otherwise it, it will reduce from the new title uh, winners if they don't give a rematch out. Buffalo winning the TV title, Cruiserweight title, currently on Johnny Cobra. Probably the biggest surprise title win we've had in a very long time, actually. Did not expect him to get that title there. And then women's, it's, it's Lindy Harker. I mean, is what she does. We are here in September, though, so it means we have the Cruiserweight Cup. Um, and these are the previous winners. Dickie Thunderbird, three-time winner. Devin Van Winkle, um, Piranha. Uh, Arizona Chance has actually won the Cruiserweight Cup, plus Bravo, plus Hito. So... Keep that in mind. Uh, let's book this Cruiserweight Cup. It's very weird that the Cruiserweight Cup falls on a period where we have the most underdog Cruiserweight Champion of all time. So, uh, feuds. We've got a few things cooking. Um, we're doing um, Major Malice and Vader have a feud that started last week. We're going to get that running. I think Flex and Doc... We're going to try and get them a blow-off. Is there a blow-off match available on the pay-per-view, though? Uh, ladies three-way. No singles. So if we're going to do Vader and... Uh, sorry, if we're going to do Doc and Flex, we need to blow it off on TV. We could just leave it be. I don't know. The thing is, Flex won 3-0, but um, Doctor won the big pay-per-view match. So it kind of needs to get worked. Maybe, maybe we just run on TV at some point. Um, no tag matches, so we will add one right there. Right, openers. So, we don't want to use Cobra, because he's a champion. So, we're going to go with Chet. And I think... We could, we could go Yuppie. We'll go Yuppie and Chet. Uh, let's add some money to the mix. Tag team match. So, if we look at the contenders at the moment... I think we give Chance and Zen one match and then move them on. A uh, big win recently for uh, the Wheeland Dealers against the Mutants. We've still got the Thompsons we need to bring in. I think, do you know what? I think we're going to start the Thompson crew and the American heroes. Because Thompson crew are going through a, a kind of a strange period now. Where they are Hall of Famers, multiple time champion, multiple time tag team invitational winners. But things are starting to get a bit stale for them. So let's give them a feud against kind of a lower ranked tag team. See if we can build them up from there. Mid Carter's match. Uh, other feuds that I want to start. I want to do. I want to do Starboy versus Slashmaster. Kind of a, you know, we, we, it's not something we do very often where we have people from different ranks, really. Like someone who's a, a bona fide main eventer against someone who's a bona fide mid carder. We don't do that very often. So that's something I want to do. And I also want to do Denny versus... Um, I want to do Denny versus Willy Mammoth. So we're here. We're just going to have a bit of a filler mid card match uh, with two cruiserweights as well. Which is kind of important because the, the cruiserweight cup is coming up. So we'll do that. That's absolutely fine. Lady singles match. So... We've got Harker. Minx has taken a few losses. I want to do Harker and Voodoo. So maybe I can start... If we do Minx and Queen as a feud. And then start that up. And then for the TV title, we've got Buffalo. Oh, it's quite hard to, to pitch the level of opponent. Maybe we go Buffalo and Fireball. So Fireball is a former winner of the Battle Royal, but has never won a championship. So we've currently got two superstars who have won a tournament, but never won a championship. 
Fireball was one of them winning the Battle Royal. And we've got Flex, who's actually, I believe, won the, the March Madness, but has not yet won a single title. Um, as far as Skit goes, uh, we're going to go Old Faithful. We're going to go with Dramatic Promo. We've got Zen and Chance, who are no longer Tag Team Champions, so kind of a perfect stage for them to, to come out, speak a little bit. Like I said, I would like to move them away from the tag titles if I could, but they do deserve they do deserve a rematch, so. Alright, we're gonna do this. Let's get this popping. I would kinda like to see American Heroes win here, because it gives the angle a bit of uh, a bit of spice. I got the feeling the Thompsons are just gonna wreck them all month long if if I decide to push it for a month. I think they're just gonna get wrecked. Uh, we've got Chet, who is also a cruiserweight, so a win here could be important for him. He's not going to get it, so he it's probably going to cost him entry into the uh, into the cup. Uh, Zen talking to talk. He's been in a tag team for a very long time. Four star segment. So it's time for him to jump back into the singles division. We've got Jet Set Strutter, who is a uh, dominant heel champion so having chance and zen in the mix really opens things up on the top of the card minx versus queen i think i want to run as a feud for a little while minx multiple time champion and very recent champion queen one of the legends so i think we do these two for for a couple weeks minimum something interesting goes on there uh we've got beef and we've got fireball like So, A, I'm happy that Beef's going to run with the title a bit longer. I don't like the titles flip-flopping too much. But Fireball winning would be quite nice for him to win a title at some point. Uh, Cruiserweight Champion is going to put his title on the line here. Uh, what match do we not have? We have a tag, we have a singles, we don't have a women's. So, let's throw a women's match in there. Um, so, I wanted to do Voodoo Harker. We want to do Minx and Queen. I also want to do Shipley and Devastatia to give us three female feuds with a bit of legs to it. Uh, so we're gonna add that there. Yeah, I just wanna I just wanna start having more feuds, more meaningful feuds outside of the titles. So it's something that I'm looking to push on with a bit more. Cruiserweight, so do we go for the rematch with Starboy? I mean, it's not like Starboy was a particularly long reigning champion, I don't think. I'd like to move Starboy into a, a feud with Slash, so maybe we do this. Give. I, I want a, I want a, a reasonably big push bonus here for Cobra, and then we can kind of segue that into. Slash Master getting involved. So that's fine. Uh, we've got Skit. Can we do... Um, can we do Jumped from behind? With one attacker. Sneak attack. And can I do this with Starboy? Even though he's booked, will it let me... Will it let me attack him? No, because he's booked, it won't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got tag matches. Let's throw the mutants in there. And let's give them a tag team of some kind to go up against. Who have I got on my tag team list uh, for mutants to go against? We could go Wall Street, actually. Tycoon, bless him, he's not done much lately. He's had uh, he's had some big peaks, but he's he has struggled lately. Uh, singles match. Uh, 
any other feuds I want to start? I want to do Denny and Mammoth, mm -hmm. so this could be a good place to start that, perhaps. Uh, Doberman Denny against Willy Mammoth. Mammoth has been like one of our absolute goats for the last few years. But I think this will make a very interesting side quest for him. And obviously if Denny comes out on top, that would really fire him up the rankings as well. So really cool stuff there. I'm very, I'm very happy with some of these views, i got to be honest. Uh, skits. A training montage with an athlete. Who do we have who would make quite an interesting person? I mean, we've not done much with Slugger. Let's throw Slugger in there. And we can give him cheap heat as well. So, interesting stuff there. Mike Spot, this time... Um, probably the champ needs to be speaking at this point. And for a Mike Spot, we probably need the Eagle to give him a bit of a boost. Right, let's add all these. Yep, done. Then you... Uh, we go shy town on this one. Boom. Job done. Job done. So we're going Shipley Devastatia. Again, we're just going to run the angle for a while. So results not really a big factor here. What we're going to do with the women's title. We're going voodoo, aren't we? Voodoo is what we're doing. Right. Denny. If you want to win, that would have made things interesting. He, he didn't want to win. We're still going to run it for a little bit. For a little bit. We got a three star segment, not bad, right? Mutants versus Wall Street. Just trying to, you know, add a few different names to the division. Plus, we've got babyface champions, so Wall Street, if you want to win, that'd be great. I know uh, mutants are tweeners, but I, I booked them mostly in a babyface manner. It's going to be mutants. Okay. Uh, overall segment to star. My style is high profile. Profile. Let's go. Right. Big segment there from Jet. That's got to be four. Give me four stars. Boy knows how to talk. You know how to talk. Right. Johnny Cobra, Star Boy. We want a Cobra win. I gave him the. I gave him the boost! I gave him the boost! Stop! I'm, I'm supposed to do Starboy and Slashmaster, he's got the title back! That's what you call urinating on someone's bonfire. That's what that is. Right. TV title match. I want to run it back with uh, Fireball. And we're going to make it a tables match. Because these guys are not going to be featured on a pay-per-view. So let's do that there. Uh, pay-per-view number one contenders match. This is for the World Championship. Okay. This is for the tag titles. So initially I wanted to do... <clears throat> I wanted to do Chance versus Zen. Winner gets title shot. But... I don't want to belittle the tag team title reign of Honor Society by not having them defend against the team that just had it for 11 weeks. So I think I have to, have to go Chance and Zen here. Is Chance injured? What's going on? Chance injured? He is. We definitely going to heal him up. And Buffalo will leave. That's fine. Right, so I think we have to. We have to do this. We won't give them any flavour. Because ideally, I would be quite happy for them to, to, move, to move on now. And then if we can get them to go up... If we can get them to go up against the Wheeling Dealers and the Wheeling Dealers go over, then that kind of reopens up the tag division because they've beaten the Wheeling Dealers like three or four times 
Uh, winner of this match will face the world champion. So this is where I'm kind of stuck. I kind of booked myself into a bit of a hole here. So we could a actually... There might be a solution. We just do Flex and, and Doc here. They've had their feud. Flex won three singles matches. Doc won the big Hell in a Cell. So we have a final blow-off match here. Winner gets the world title. Or world title match. So they've done Hell in a Cell. I think it has to be an Iron Man. To find out who really is the top dog out of these two. We've already had Flex lose to Jet Set. But... Like I said, we're kind of out of options here at this point. I think that's the best we can do. I would have liked to have had these two move in to the division, but it's okay. Uh, so I want to do Malice and we're doing Malice Invader. So let's get that done here because we can't do it at the pay-per-view. So this will be their second match. Have they? I've already had them face off. Yeah, so they've had a singles Malice 1. So that's fine. Uh, Mike Spots will go with another one of the champions. Uh, so Pierre... We can go Valedictorian. And let's give him some, uh, some cheap pops. Looks good. Excellent. This all looks great. Uh, let's merge it up. I think we go back to Canada for this one. Boom. Right, wheeling dealers is what we need here. Come on, wheeling dealers, we need you to win. Come on, guys! Wow, Rebellion have won. Okay. So hopefully they won't win the tag titles, but it does make Wheeling Dealer look a bit weak now with Rebellion leaving the division. Uh, four star Mike segment there for Valedictorian. Malice Invader, a winner doesn't really matter. Malice is 1 0 up at the moment. That ties it down to 1 1. But I'm not, I'm not a real 50-50 booking kind of guy. If someone goes 3-0, it is what it is. Right, winner of this. World title opportunity. Doc, four-time world champion. Absolute legend. Flex with the big win in the Ironman match. So that's huge for Flex. Huge for him. A fireball. Going up against an injured Beef Buffalo. He's won his first belt. Yes! Fireball has won his first belt! Let's go! TV title for Fireball. I'm very, I'm very happy for Fireball. I'm very happy for him. Good man. Let's claim this. Now you know. Oh, we know. Oh, we know. Right, Cruiserweights, world title. So, world title match is set. This is the second match between the two. We could merit a stipulation. We could. I mean, not not a massively excessive stipulation, I would say. It's not a, an absolute blood feud type scenario. But they fought before. Maybe we just go submission match. Alright, that's done there. Cruiserweight title. So we've got the tag titles. Uh, they don't have a tag team card, but they do have... Bonsai in their corner. Uh, we're not going to give them any flavor. And we're just going to leave this as a regular match. Fingers crossed. Honor Society win here and then we can move on. We've got three ladies feuds. So it just makes sense to get them in there. So we want the champ. Who is Harker. We want Minx, who's in a feud with Queen, and we want 
Shipley, who's in a feud with Devastatia. So, Harker, we're doing Voodoo. Uh, Minx against Queen. And then we've got Shipley against Devastatia. Lovely. Right, we should have plenty of feuds available to choose from. We'll use that one there. Excellent. And then it's just a Cruiserweight Cup. So, bit of a weird division at the minute. We've got Starboy and Johnny Cobra. So what we'll do is we'll actually have them rematch in the opening match. So we'll get Starboy in there. So that's done there. Um, I'm trying to think about the division rather than someone winning and then moving above the Cruiserweight division. So if we look, uh, Bravo is not going to be competing there. Hotshot probably deserves a chance. So if we do Hotshot against Piranha perhaps... That's fine. Uh, let's get some some money on the books. And then we kind of have to do Thunderbird, I think. I don't want to use Bravo because we definitely want to move him up. We should really have Hito back in the mix. Devin is in a different federation. Bravo we're not going to use. Chance we're not going to use. So if we have Hito here. We've got Masakari we haven't used enough, you know. Dicky Masakari is massive, actually. So we book that. And then it's just Hito versus who? Doberman Duke? A bit... Possibly a bit underwhelming. Alright, just before we cement this, let's just look at who we've not used. Alright, Bravo we have plans for in a different area of the card. Jam has been neglected, and so is Gio. Hooligan we kind of use in the TV title division. Slugger has been massively underutilized. Over Devon, over Duke, he really should be. I think we perhaps look at getting Slugger in the tag division. But maybe in the new year. Maybe we bring back Blitz. I mean, he's active till 94. Maybe we maybe we just try and move him up the card a bit. We'll leave him out of, the, we'll leave him out of this. We'll leave him out. Right, that looks pretty good to me. Cruiserweight division is a bit, is a bit light. I'll admit, it's a bit light. I uh, can't remember where we went last time. Uh, they do though, so let's not do that. Uh, Silver Stadium. Let's go. Right, let's go. Right, so kind of cruiserweight title rematch. Title's not on the line, so a Starboy win would be the cleanest finish. Done. So Cobra gets his one and done title reign. Uh, Dicky versus Masakari. I feel like Dickie's time is kind of coming to an end, you know. Big win for him, though. Maybe he just needs to be back in this division. We've tried to push him in the World Title Division a few times, and it's just not happened. Uh, three different female feuds going on there. Big old match, this is. This is a big old match. We're definitely going to be doing voodoo for the title, though. I'd like to see a babyface win. To be honest, that's what I'd like to see. Queen with the win. Hills do their thing. I mean, that kind of builds her up a bit better, so not bad. 
Uh, Duke is kind of like the, the underdog entering this tournament against Hito. Hito won last year. Had a bit of a quiet year, Hito, though. Nice. Okay. If we can build, perhaps, the Cruiserweight division around, like, a Hito, Thunderbird, with a mix of Masakari. Hotshot Prana. Big win for Hotshot, actually. Underdog win there for Hotshot. Right, please, Honor Society, please win. Pierre, Valedictorian, just win so I can move my boys into the world title. I need them out this division. Please. Please. Done. Honor Society have beaten and retained. Thank God. Right, Thunderbird, Starboy, big match. Big match. Starboy win would be huge. Wow. So the reigning champion loses to Thunderbird. That's one to keep. Now, Hotshot surely is not winning here. Thunderbird versus Hito is huge. Two former winners. I, I thought for a split second Hotshot was going to do it. Right. We got a big final, actually. Flex. Your opportunity to win your first world title. He's done it! Flex, let's go! Wow! Flex is the world champion. Thunderbird. Hito. Thunderbird, what was that? Four-time? Four-time winner of the Cruiserweight Cup? Mad. This month, the two wrestlers who have won a tournament and never won a title have both now won titles. Huge. I'm glad we've got that sorted there. The thing is, I wanted these guys in the world title picture because we had a heel champion. We now have a babyface champion. Crazy. Submission match, flex wins. Crazy. Wow. Wow. Wow, this makes this is gonna make October very, very interesting. Let's claim that bonus. People, title changes. Big things are brewing. Thank you for guys for watching Rev the Legends. See you again. And peace.